Hey everyone, today we're going to have a conversation about the Nintendo Switch, which, hey, where is my Switch? Son, hand me my Switch. Ugh, there it is. Hold on. Ugh, ugh. All right, all right, all right. There it is. There's my uh, little old Switch OLED. Is it dead? It's probably dead. Oh, wait, nope. We're good. Awesome. So, here is my Nintendo Switch. I have put thousands of hours of gameplay into this platform. Behind me, you'll also see a PlayStation 5, right? I got my controller right here for it. I actually got two controllers for it. I also have uh, the Xbox Series S. Uh, you can't see it. It's just off camera, but uh, I have my controller there for that with the charge stand here. And I got my Switch, and there's actually a dock, you know, up here that I can plug it in and charge and, and do live streams with. The thing about the Switch that is interesting to think about is this idea of whether it is a secondary or a primary console. And the thing to think about that in 2023 is what does it even mean to be a secondary and a primary? In order to even have this conversation, you have to have some preset definitions. What's interesting though is that there are definitions for primary and secondary. There, these definitions exist. They've existed for a long time. They go well beyond gaming. And unfortunately, sometimes people like to skew what those definitions are. They'll say, oh, it's based on power. Oh, it's based on third-party support. It's based on this. It's based on that. A bunch of subjective viewpoints rather than looking at the objective reality of, well primary and secondary. What does primary mean? So primary's definition, just doing a little quick Google search, the first thing as an adjective is of chief importance or principle or earliest in time or order, or as a noun, a primary color, as a verb, it gets into some politics stuff. The point is primary is this thing that came first or this thing that is of the most importance to you. As an example, what's more important, right? Like what's what, what what's your primary use case of a given item? Again, it's going to be whatever is most important to you. What controller is better to you? This subjective viewpoint that creates your primary controller you use on a given platform. Primary is obviously the most important thing to you. Now, secondary has a definition as well. And the definition of Secondary is, well, as you would guess, coming after or less important than. Now, Nintendo Switch came before the Xbox Series X and S and the PlayStation 5, but that doesn't necessarily fit the definition of primary or secondary in terms of when talking about game consoles. Really, it comes down to which console do you use the most, right? What is your preference for gaming? Whether you're a multi-console gamer or a single console gamer, we all have our preferences. I just pointed out how I have an Xbox Series S, a PlayStation 5, the disc version, in fact, and a Switch OLED. I also have multiple gaming PCs. This is a gaming laptop. I also have a gaming computer, a gaming-capable computer. So I have pretty much the entire spectrum. I don't have a Steam Deck yet, but that's neither here nor there. It's just a mobile form of the PC gaming I already enjoy. So when we talk about primary, secondary, and anything after that, it's just ordering which system is more important to you. So in the discussion of if this platform is a secondary platform, it's really subjective. I can argue right now this is my primary gaming platform. If I get in a bind and I need to sell some things to make some money and I want to hold on to one of these systems, the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series S are going long before my Switch. Now, yes, I am obviously a Nintendo content creator, and that can't be ignored that naturally because of that, the Switch is going to have a bit more importance to what I do here on YouTube. But it also has a bit more importance to my personal preference in gaming. The Nintendo Switch, at the time of recording right now, has 131 exclusive games. The PlayStation 4 has less than half of the amount of exclusive titles the Switch has. The Xbox has even less than that. So that means the combined exclusive output of Microsoft and Sony to date cannot match the exclusive output of this single system. Now, 
that is something I put a lot of emphasis on. I enjoy a lot of the exclusive content on Switch more than the other platforms. And again, I have them for the exclusive content, maybe a few third-party games. Heck, I use my PC primarily for third-party games. The point I'm trying to make, though, here is that for me, the Switch is my primary gaming platform despite having other systems. I own this before those systems, and on top of that, I actually spend a majority of my time gaming on this system because I prefer the exclusive content that's only available legally on Nintendo Switch. So to me, it's a no-brainer that this is a primary system. Now, for many people, your primary system will be your only system. You might only have a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox Series or a PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. You may only have a Nintendo Switch or a gaming pay PC. It is entirely possible you're a one-system owner, and in that case, your primary is clear. It's whatever system you're playing on. And believe it or not, there are millions of people that only game on a Nintendo Switch. It is the only system they have, and then thus it's their primary platform. So in this debate over primary versus secondary, it really comes down to preference. If I had to go in order right now of what my primary and secondary systems are, this would be my primary system, the Xbox would be my secondary, my PC would be third, and the PlayStation 5 would be Fourth, that's just the current order in which I prefer playing games. I'll hop on this, then Xbox, then PC, then PlayStation. Obviously, you know, when certain games come out, like Forspoken coming up, maybe I end up playing a bit more PlayStation for a week, but that's just for a week. I'm going to end up back on this playing Fire Emblem and many other titles that I am still trying to catch up on, like Xenoblade Chronicles 3. So my entire point of this video is that there is no right answer for what's primary or secondary. But what is true is that we should never boil down any platform as a secondary platform. Now, for you personally, if you want to go as a PC gamer and go, this is an excellent secondary platform for you, that's awesome. I'm really happy for you. Also, in addition to being really happy for you, yippee and secondary for you doesn't mean it's secondary for somebody else. This is why this debate sort of rages on because a lot of you know Nintendo-only gamers are going to be very upset if you try to act like their system is less than other platforms because you want to diminish it over its power, over its graphics, or you want to diminish it because it doesn't get Call of Duty and Assassin's Creed and you know Cyberpunk and all these other big third-party games. Meanwhile, the fact remains, there's a over 131 exclusive content on this system you can't play anywhere else legally so that's a pretty good argument to really be into and the sales show every time a new exclusive game drops on switch it sells like gangbusters and it keeps doing it even here in 2023 don't be surprised when we find out that fire emblem engage is magically the fastest selling fire emblem game to date probably going to happen. Don't be surprised if Tears of the Kingdom fires out the gate faster than Breath of the Wild did. You're pushing a narrative of console wars. I mean, look at this. I There's definitely no console wars in my house. The Switch might be my primary platform, but I game on everything. You know, I, I get to experience the whole wide world of gaming. Because of what I do here on YouTube and because of my personal gaming preferences, this system doesn't fit all of my needs, nor does PlayStation nor does Xbox, nor does a gaming PC. I'm a bit of a wild card of a gamer. I sort of need a little bit of everything because I enjoy everything. So the way I look at this is, hey, if Switch is your secondary system, that's 100% right for you. If it's your primary system, it's also 100% right for you. There is no raw definition of what's primary and secondary out there. Some people try to argue because it's a handheld that's secondary kind of funny because I know some people out there that literally only game on handhelds. Have you been to Japan? Go ahead and go over there and tell them this is a secondary platform when it's pretty much the only thing they game on. I, it's just, it's a silly argument. It's a silly argument to be made. Every system can be secondary. Every system can be primary and it's up to the individual. What I will say is this thing's about to cross 120 million unit sales. And it's led the MPD for five straight years. Also, fun fact about Switch that uh, people aren't talking about yet because the official numbers aren't out. But as soon as we get them on February 7th, it's going to be true. This has moved over a 
billion units in software, more than any other Nintendo system ever. People are buying games like crazy on this thing. It's also on pace to become the best-selling system of all time. People don't want to talk about that, of course, because they can't fathom something passing the PlayStation 2 or even the DS, but it's on pace. And depending on when that next system comes, it very well could do that. It's already going to be over a billion in software units. I don't know when it's going to stop. 1.2, 1.4, 1.5, 2 billion. I have no idea where the road stops for it. What I do know is it's the little system that could. And I think that bothers some people that Nintendo is selling 2015 tech in 2023 to the tune of 20 million units a year. I just think the success of Switch and the continued success is bothering some people into pushing console wars and bringing back the secondary versus primary debate, which is completely irrelevant. I think what we need to understand at this point is that no matter what they say, this is a runaway success. It's a runaway success. The PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series so far are success stories as well. The Steam Deck for the market it's in is also a success story. It's just, it's facts. It's also facts the Steam Deck isn't a threat to Switch, but... That's a, that's, a, that's a video for a different day. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. You guys are amazing and awesome. You guys let me know, what's your primary and secondary systems? Or do you only have a primary? What are your thoughts on this entire debate? Thank you guys, and I'll catch you in that next video.